This is All India Radio, Shillong. The Northeast News Bulletin read by Rahul Chatterjee. Union Civil Aviation Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya has said that Northeast regions has been high priority for Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his department is all set to deploy additional 107 commercial aircraft in the country within this year, out of which operation of about 25 are earmarked for northeastern states, including Arunachal Pradesh. Launching the operation of first Dornier 228 aircraft at Pasighat Airport in Arunachal Pradesh yesterday, Mr. Sindhya said that the central government is planning to boost the air connectivity of northeastern region, connecting the region with commercial fixed-wing flight services with the mainland of the country as well as other parts of the globe. The minister who flagged off the first route of Dornier 228 aircraft from Dibrugarh, Pasighat, Lilabari and vice versa said that steps have been taken to connect Tezu, Zero, Tuting, Mechuka and Vijayanagar with the aircraft in Arunachal Pradesh in the next two phases, while it is all set to inaugurate Holongi Greenfield Airport near Itanagar within the next three to four months. Union Health Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandviya has directed the officials to boost the ongoing monitoring and surveillance of new COVID-19 variants and cases. Dr. Mandviya yesterday chaired a meeting in New Delhi with key experts and officials of the country on the new XE variant of COVID-19. On the medical infrastructure and resources front, the minister directed officials to constantly review the availability of essential drugs and medicines required for COVID treatment. He further emphasized that the ongoing vaccination drive must be carried out at full pace and all eligible should be vaccinated. Assam Health Minister Keshav Mahanta said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate seven cancer hospitals in the state on the 28th of this month. Talking to newspersons in Guwahati, Mahanta said that the Prime Minister will inaugurate the hospitals at an event in Dibrugarh. Modi will also lay foundation stone of seven new cancer hospitals in Assam at the same event. Mahanta also said that Prime Minister will also attend an event at Karbianglong on the same day. Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister Prestantin Song has made it clear that the state government would not reconsider or revisit the border MOU signed with Assam on January 29, 2022, since it is no longer feasible. He, however, asserted that the government was willing to meet stakeholders to clarify any doubt they might have about the agreement. Stating that it was wrong to question the MOU, Tinsong pointed out that even in Assam there is some opposition to the agreement in those areas that have been included in Mikhalia. Retired Justice Steve Ipe's one-man judicial commission probing the killing of former Hinutrep National Liberation Council leader Chesterfield Thankyu is likely to wrap up the hearings by April 23rd. The retired judge said that the next hearings are scheduled on April 22 and April 23, following which he would discuss with all the parties involved whether the process can be wrapped up for the report. The Commission had examined the investigating officer of the Clariat Police Station on April 8. The investigating officer is expected to produce the seized weapons, photographs and other articles on April 23rd. Justice Vaipe said the panel would submit its report to the government before the extended deadline of May 20th. The Northeast Students' Organization, comprising eight prominent student bodies from seven northeastern states, yesterday expressed strong opposition to the Government of India's intention to make Hindi language as compulsory subject till Class 10. In a letter sent to the Union Home Minister Amit Shah, Nesso said these organizations would like to express its strong opposition to the proposal in the recently concluded Parliamentary Official Language Committee that the subject of Hindi language, a component of the modern Indian language, would be made compulsory till Class 10 in all the eight northeastern states. Nesso also urged the government to withdraw such an unfavorable policy and should focus on how to further uplift the indigenous languages of the northeastern region, incorporating them in the eighth schedule of the constitution. And with that, we in the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.